tutorial, you'll learn how to use the various different types of tracks and controls available to you in the FL Studio Mixer. Let's begin with a quick tour. The mixer contains 64 insert tracks, 4 send tracks, and a master track. The insert tracks take the audio output from all the instrument tracks in FL Studio. And in the default setup, once the audio signal is processed, with the built-in EQ, volume, and panning, it is sent to the master mixer track. The FL Studio mixer also contains 4 send tracks. The send tracks do not receive a direct audio input from the instruments. They can receive audio from one or more of the insert tracks. Send tracks allow you to set up a single effect track and use it in varying amounts from any of the other insert tracks, unless some of the other insert tracks are routed directly to an ASIO output. The whole output of FL Studio then goes to the master mixer track for final processing before output to your speakers. OK, now we have a feel for all the individual sections of the mixer. Let's look in more detail at some of the other features. The FL Studio Mixer features a 3-band parametric equalizer. The equalizer is very similar to the standalone parametric EQ plugin, which comes with FL Studio. Band 1 is a low shelfin filter. Band 2 is a bell curve filter. And band 3 is a high shelf filter. The mixer also includes a stereo separation filter, which allows you to increase or decrease the difference between the left and right audio channels of your mix. In the default middle position, the stereo separation filter is disabled. If you turn the wheel to the left, the stereo separation is decreased, and turning it all the way to the left results in a mono sound. Turning the wheel to the right increases the stereo separation. Two more integrated filters to note in the mixer are the volume and panning filters, which helps you avoid using dedicated plug-in filters to adjust the track's volume and panning. The volume and panning controls are also available for all mixer tracks, so you can adjust the mix level of the mixer track quickly and easily, without selecting each individual track to see its properties panel. The mixer pop-up menu lets you access several mixer-related functions. You can open and save a mixer track state, allowing you to move between different mixer configurations. You can also choose to show or hide the volume and panning control windows, and whether to show or hide the vertical name levels for each of the mixer tracks. The Disk Record menu allows you to access various functions related to recording the output of FL Studio to disk, which is covered more in-depth in the audio recording tutorial. 